welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. It's an ish gets real. I you get shot during the day? And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> the right now. Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. I had to do it a little bit quieter this time than I'm used to. Thank you guys for checking out Video Game Bang. Uh, this is the E3 edition. We are down here in beautiful Los Angeles, California. Uh, more specifically, we're in Hollywood in our hotel room. There's three of us in here. It's kind of getting hot because we turned off the air conditioner. But uh, let's just get to it. Starting off, the man here on the bed, David Webb. What's up? What's going on, everybody? And uh, let's just not even care. Let's not dig into that because there's so much to unpack right there. But we don't care. Let's move on to Ivy right here. Ivy Doom Kitty, what's up? It is a really creepy hotel. I think it's haunted. The guy at the front desk told us. He told us it was haunted. It's it's shady. It's cheap. Right. I I, we we're pretty sure that we heard like you know some springs going. Uh, someone or ghost sex. Ooh. Could we be so lucky to be witnessing ghost sex? Ghosts get pregnant? I hope not. That might be creepy. Little yeah. ghosty babies. It'd be like Pac-Man. Like little <laughs> ghost, pac- you know, like little. Yeah, the little. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So, uh, it's a brain twister. We've been having this stuff. Uh, it's been fun hanging out with Ivy. This is like, uh, you know, a summit. We've been hanging out online for so long. Now we're hanging out in person. And we're learning that our ways of life are quite a bit different. <laughs> Ivy lives life, uh, a life of luxury to a certain degree that we're not quite used to. That is a lie. That is not true. Don't lie. That's a super lie. She was turning her head up to like, what, $20 bottle of wine? Like, no, that's not expensive enough. Whatever. We're drinking like an $8 bottle of a pop of bread right now. It's a shot. (laughs) Yeah. I had to, you know, Ivy wants to go out and go to uh, speakeasies and she likes to go to hidden lounges and things like that. And I was like, let's just go to like cost plus and grab like a six pack of beer and we can go hit the room. No, 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 no. He wanted to go to smart and final and get some drinks from (laughs) smart and final. I'm like, no, I am not going to get freaking box wine. I'm sorry. Well, I like what I like. I'm very particular and. I, you know, I like very nicely, very well made mixed drinks or, you know, champagne and things like that. It's just, it's a preference in taste. That's all. And I'm There's nothing not, wrong with that. So, you know? w- so when you drink alcohol, are you drinking for the flavors or I don't get it? Cause it's absolutely about drinking for the flavors. What? Alcohol yeah. tastes so terrible anyways. You're just drinking. Uh, it's for the effect. The two drinks that I had earlier were phenomenal. They were, were okay. I'll give you that. It was that one called the White Rabbit. Okay. And it had gin. I forgot what else. And then the other one was a Pisco Sour. And they were both you really had, awesome. You had a, a drink with eggs in it. Egg, egg white. Oh, thank you. That's Which eggs. Which one was the egg white? Both of them had egg white. They were tasty. See, that's the stuff. I didn't know they put eggs in drinks until today, hanging out with Ivy. Uh, besides our cheap lifestyle, wh- wh- what's it been like hanging out with the VGB? <sighs> Man. There's no cheap lifestyle. For the record, though, I did get your guys' uh, lunch earlier today. And I just got your guys' pizza, Wait, too. You, pa- you paid for the lunch? Yeah. I thought Webb did that. No. Yeah, he was waiting in line. I got oh I got gosh, us all the food. Ivy, I'm so sorry. Does that make me like a sugar mama? You've basically, <laughs> you've effectively <laughs> been our sugar mama this whole trip. <laughs> Wait, well, I kind of paid my way a little bit. We'll get into that. No, so, it's it's okay. You hooked it up earlier. I hooked so, it up. Uh, well, yeah, you're, you'll talk about that. In a so second. We'll, we'll talk about it. So basically, of course, we're down here for. Uh, well, I was down here last weekend for Nairo Saga, which if you guys play or watch Super Smash Brothers four. Uh, Energy, the company I'm employed by, sponsors a player named Nairo, who's like one of the biggest streamers in the game. Amazing community, and he actually had his own event in uh, Santa Ana at the esports arena called Nairo Saga. It was great. He did perform very well, took home fourth place. He couldn't quite break the curse, did amazing. At the end of the night, he had like the Naifu putting, they hoisted him up on their shoulders and were just screaming, Nairo, Nairo, like. That's like living. Yeah. When you've amassed an audience that's that's fanatical that will fly across the country. I talked to a lot of people at the event who like I've never been to a Smash Four event in my life, but it was a Nairo event. I had to go. Right. It's pretty incredible. 
So kudos to Nairo. We'll be hanging out with him, actually. All three of us will be seeing him at uh, E3. Speaking of, where's Aaron? Carter? Well, this is where it gets really embarrassing. You know, when it comes to us, me and me and Webb, like we, we, we're, we're what you call ride or die in the hip-hop community. Uh, we, we make sacrifices for this profession of video game podcasting. Aaron uh, is not allowed allotted that f- same freedom that we are. So he's actually working at Lowe's in Sacramento. Well, wait, it's just, why don't you give him the address too? <laughs> <laughs> People know he works at Lowe's. If you listen to the show, you know Aaron works at Lowe's. It's just, you know, or maybe he doesn't. We just, that's just what we've- It's Home Depot. That's what we've created. It's actually Home Depot. We just say Lowe's. But uh, Aaron Carter could not be here with us. That's why it's just worth worth. We're the three Pete here. We'll have special guests popping in and out of the podcast all week. But today, the day before E3, we decided to stop by EA Play, which was at the Hollywood Palladium, Palladio, Palladium, Palladium, Palladium. What do you know of this venue, Ivy? Have you been there before? No, I know. I, I know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> you know nothing. I yeah, I have no idea nothing. actually. No. It was nice. Yeah, it was really cool. It was cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, well, it's interesting because, you know, I'm assuming Hollywood Palladium, it's an, uh, an indoor building. However, uh, we were outside in the heat. Yes. In lines. So we... Well, lines for a short period of time because you're awesome. We walked in to this... Oh, let's let's case the joint. Uh, I didn't necessarily do my due diligence when I signed us up for EA Play. Uh, I'll be honest. I just went to the website, signed us up. I didn't go for media registration or anything like that. So we show up. Our names are on the list. We get to bypass a small part of the line. We get our little red wristbands, and we walk into the place, and it's just lines. It's hot. We go up to the Star Wars booth, and we're like, hey, can we watch play this game? And they said no. So this is where uh, Action Corey pops into place. Action Corey. Action Corey. <laughs> is, that, is, is that action figure? Yeah. I mean, I, I had Ivy and uh, Webb with me, and I tell them, all right, children, why don't you go wait in some lines, go maybe order some, yeah, maybe order some food. No, 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 you didn't tell us to order some food. I took that upon myself to say, you know what, these little boys need to eat because <laughs> they don't eat, so I'm going to go over here and go get food for everybody because I like to take care of my people. I usually don't let Webb eat when we go to these events. Apparently. No, and you spoiled him. Now he's going to expect food every time we go out. No, that just means that I've gotten Webb's loyalty. <laughs> Jokes on you because I sneak food when you go to these events. You bastard. <laughs> Every time you turn your back, I'm eating something. So they uh, they go hang out. They're supposed to be waiting in line doing all the things they want to do. And uh, while they're lollygagging, I'm getting stuff done. I'm bouncing between tables, finding out who's in charge here, getting a lay of the land, we say. And uh, I bounce back between a few tables. Uh, walked as if I was supposed to be places I wasn't supposed to be and I came back with uh these blue badges instead of the red ones now we got upgraded to blue which put us in the media influencer area where instead of waiting the line to play what FIFA was an hour so the line to play Star Wars was at least two or three that put us in the area where we were able just to sit down wherever we wanted and play any games Essentially, yeah. yeah, that was that was awesome. Yeah, it was really private, which was it was really nice. You know, it was air conditioned. It was you know free drinks and all that good stuff. And I think we all felt valued. Right? I felt yeah, it was so much better. Your uh, the only thing we were missing was the champagne, the champagne. So we uh, first thing we do is we play some of the new Madden, and uh, the first review right here. You're gonna hear it here first. It's just like the other Maddens. No, 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 no. Hang on. The um, the blades of grass will were a little bit thicker in this one. What do we got here in chat? Chat is uh, popping off here. <laughs> I like beard Danny. Dude, your beard is low key thick. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. I've worked very hard on this beard. Oh man. Oh, appreciate the host. We got Numlock, my boy, uh, Energy Numlock, the tank over there on the Overwatch team. I appreciate that. His viewers are thinking, what the fuck are you watching? What did I watch and walk into? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was, you're right, though. Madden 
18 is just like Madden 17. And But we did get a little preview of our showdown, our Street Fighter showdown. We did. Yeah, we did. We uh, Webb and I locked horns in the in the digital battlefield of Madden, and uh, I pretty much whooped your ass, dude. Uh, pretty sure it's not exactly what happened. Tell the story the way you think um, it happened, then. Careful what you say on that. What? Embargo. Is there? Yep. Embargo. Everything but Battlefront has one. Okay, so we have to be clever when we speak because there's embargoes on a lot of this stuff. So we'll we just we'll talk about the score. We'll, we'll talk we'll, about the spirit of battle. The spirit of battle. Yeah. In general um, football terms. I was intercepting. Damn near every one of Corey's passes. First of I, all, you I, deflated all the balls I threw. I let him. <laughs> I let him get to like third down, and I go, "Nope, that's my ball now." Okay, that was pretty fucking outrageous. Every time it, he would play, and I was shutting down him. defensively. I was shutting you down every time. No, you were. Yeah, half the time because you, when you did have an open pocket, you just jump for no reason because <laughs> I didn't just, know what the buttons were. You just did the <laughs> Superman dive. Like, but like I you fa- were going for the end zone, but you but, weren't. But when I did score a touchdown, I finally got to use that button for its intended use. I dove into the end zone. You did get a no. The only points you scored were from an interception. Go figure. Yeah, I intercepted you, it you and then like, ran it. The game only lasted 10, 15 minutes, and you had like five interceptions. Yeah, somehow. game was fucking broken. <laughs> it comes down to my turn. Fourth quarter. I get the ball. I just start. Chunking some passes. Fourth quarter of Rocket League, yeah. Hit into that. What? What? Yeah, of Rocket League. Yeah. You know, they're okay. Every Madden that's ever been created has had quarters, so we're not breaking any embargo. I'm not talking about any of the features. Okay. We're good. So, uh, yeah, we have pizza coming, so I cannot wait for this pizza. However, it's no burgers, but I I tie the game up. So I think he has seven. I have six. I go for the free kick. I whiff. <laughs> I actually honestly whiffed, but he gets it back on defense. Here's where me just being more of a sportsman beat you, Webb. Did you see what I was doing on my last possessions? No. I don't play Madden, so I was you honestly watch football? not very often. I was just pushing buttons. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. The play clock, the way it works is you can stop the play clock by using timeouts. I know you kept hitting timeouts. I was like, why the hell do you keep hitting timeout? Like, Yeah, I was totally playing the clock because if I would have just let those downs go, I would have lost easily. But as a wily KG veteran, which you should have expected, I wasted down the clock, ended up pulling out the 12-7 uh, victory, and uh, that's just the way life goes, Webb. You, just, you can't beat me. I made you nervous. Yeah. I got in your head a little bit. You, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you, you, and I wasn't even training for that. You made no, some... no, 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 no. It was more than a little bit, dude. Like, seriously. Y- you were getting freaking pissed off. This game's broke. This game's broke. <laughs> this game's so broke. <laughs> I did actually. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Why? Because you're getting your ass beat by Webb? Is, is that what it is? No, if, no, 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 no. This game's broke. If he can beat me in the game, it's broke. And, and just broken. It's broke. Broke Ken. Broke did it. Irregardless. <laughs> <laughs> She's already never going to hang out with us again, Webb. Don't don't ruin this. Don't ruin this. So what, what did we play next? So the next game we got to play was Battlefield 1. Is that? Can we talk about that, Ivy? No. The only one, oh, the only one that you are able to openly discuss is Battlefront. Okay. Wait, what? Battlefront's the only one that they allowed for photos and posting and things like that. Everything else is under embargo. You well, can't we go could, into detail. Okay, we won't go into detail, but we played Battlefield, the new expansion that they were showing at the EA stage show. Uh, yeah, because we only played on the new maps, but they could have been old maps because I've never played the game before. Yeah. Same with you? Same. Uh, no, I played it at um, Nerd HQ doing, during San Diego Comic-Con last year. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. I played it too. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we played a little bit of it, but it, it wasn't that map. That map was different. Okay. What did you think uh, just in general of the game? Like not the expansions or anything because if it was our first time really – because that was the most we sat down. We, right. I, we played it for like an hour. Yeah. yeah. it was. Uh, it's a fun game. It's definitely different mentality that you have to get into because it's very um, – it's it's you're using old weapons so like i like i was a sniper and i couldn't just sit there and keep popping shots off i had to keep unzooming and like releasing the zoom to allow myself to 
reload and then I could zoom back in and take one more shot and then unzoom to reload and yeah I mean it's 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 more strategic it was strategic and uh I, I actually really found myself enjoying it I I didn't get a chance to do it I don't know why but I feel like I need to remap all first person shooters to overwatch now see that was another thing that I was having an issue with because <laughs> I map all of my my buttons to my mouse except for WASD Everything else is mapped to my mouse. If you were able to map WSAD to your mouse, I'd be very surprised. That'd be a controller. Yeah. So, but I map everything else to my mouse. So it was really weird for me to be trying to hit shift to run and using like ones and twos to do special weapons. Did you, uh, I was going to say like, were we on the same teams? Like it was hard to tell for that game for battlefield. We were, we were on the okay. same team. All right, Ivy, you uh, declined to play the the battlefield. What, what was up? Honestly, um, I felt I haven't played a PC game in a very long time, so for me, it was a thing of you know what I don't even know like what to do in this game. What you know buttons do what and whatnot, or you know what keys do this or that. So that's why I opted not to because I didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, but watching you guys play look like a freaking fun game. If would if it would have been on console, because I saw like you know the the Xbox controllers there. If, if it would have been on console, I would have absolutely been fine with you know trying it out. Which brings me to web. Uh, there was a controller right in front of your face, and you opted for keyboard and mouse. I found that a strange move for you. Uh, I've been playing more on my PC than I have on my console, so I went with the keyboard and mouse because that's what I'm used to. We got. Fully throttled, by the way. Like we did. There was actually other influencers and like pros and casters in this giant match with us. Um, what were some of the names? I can't even remember. I know Golden Boy was Mug, there. Mugs, Mugs, or something. Mugs was a, a a person there. Um, fuck, I feel like there's another name. Something that... France. Battle okay. front France. I don't something. Know. Yeah. Yeah, there were some like legit killers playing against us yeah and we looked like complete plebes we got wrecked yeah and there was a lot on the line too like if you won first Noob place you get like an xbox s or something like that so oh by the way ceramic dragon just pointed out we are all in the same <gasps> room this is actually a first what yeah and it might Burn. be it might be the last time it ever happens i'm well, surprised i'll be san diego hanging out with us i'll be san diego you're gonna hang out with us again oh well, it depends we haven't embarrassed you thoroughly not the week's quite. Still young. Okay. Yeah, the week's still young. You know, you you may not have a beard by the end of the week. Who knows? I'm Anything gonna can have happen. This beard. Anything can happen. You can't threaten a man's you beard. You can like fall asleep That's and off. like just be missing a chunk of it. It's off limits. They're saying, but there's no Aaron. That's true. And I kind of think it's an upgrade. I'm not gonna lie. That's messed up. No, I miss him. I was just wrong. I miss my boo. You know what he said to me before uh, I left him? Absolutely nothing. No, you were there. I was. Yeah, he said, uh, "Safe travels, brother." Oh, yeah, yeah, that. That made me feel really good inside that, you know, even though he pretends that he doesn't care about me, he really does. I really didn't want to break this to you, but he was talking about me when I was driving home. Was he really? I think he was. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the next part was the part I was the most excited about. The whole EA play, when I when we got there, oh, and I could if you guys are watching the stream, I could show you too. Uh, nope, that's an embargo. No, it's not, you idiot. <laughs> 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 I actually thought about it for a minute. Yeah, you did. Going, I saw you hesitate. Hide <laughs> this thing. No, it's uh, it's a poster. We got this awesome uh, Battlefront Two poster. It's high quality. They're numbered. All this stuff. So we hung out for a bit, got these posters, and uh, I'm, it's embargoed, right? That's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna give mine away to uh, my fans on my social media. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give mine away along with um the really cool EA Play uh. Uh, beach balls that they gave us as a hey guys wish you guys were here but you know how about get some really cool swag yeah yeah because we we it was the last day i think we, you you guys also on on social have some uh of the beach balls too yeah yeah you can follow and maybe a, a poster too since you guys have two posters. Uh, yeah david's gonna give his poster away to <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Danny will pay for your poster, Ivy. What? There you go. Chat. 
chat. Someone in, wants to buy it from you. It? Yeah, they want to buy it. Oh. What's your price, Ivy? Price for what? For your for your poster, you weirdo. No. It, you got talking to the mic, otherwise they can't hear you. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm monitoring the food delivery. Ooh, we close. Uh, ten minutes oh, out yeah, for food. pizza. We got we we. Uh, I think it's kind of the day yeah, before E3, so we're not doing like the crazy parties or anything tonight. This is just like uh, we got a little tipsy at the place, and then we went and like read walked. what an American should do. We walked to a grocery store and bought liquor for the room. Yay! And we're ordering food, and we're like, oh, let's do the podcast. Uh, so we're going to be doing these podcasts once a day this week during E3. Did we, we talk about Battlefront though? We will. Okay. We'll save that for the end. We're, we're, that's, that's what you call the tease. That's the hook. We keep them coming back. Oh, by the way, uh, Corey, you know how I was telling you that you know you might lose some of that beard. Yeah. The uh, ceramic. Wait, wait. Sir Butcher said, "Yeah, you're gonna fall asleep and find nuts on your chin." <laughs> I think they're referring to my kangaroo balls. Your kangaroo balls. You said you're bringing them tomorrow. Yeah, I I'm really bringing them tomorrow. Know. If you do. Yeah. You're fired. Oh, fired. right. Because so, you'll get rid of me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll end the whole... You guys love me too much. That's true. I think chat needs to vote on what kind of design you want Ivy to shave Corey's beard into. I don't know why. What this obsession with, with the beard is. Like, the beard is dope. It's not or going nowhere. It's thick. It's It'll be testies. Chat, nuts. As chat pointed Fuzzy out, nuts. my beard is thick, ladies and gentlemen. Thick. Um... Yeah, so like I was saying, if you have an iPhone, you can go to iTunes, search video game, bang, just as it appears here. You can search on the Android Marketplace, and then you'll have automatically download editions of these shows, these little condensed versions. Uh, we're going to be hanging out with some of our friends. We were able to get quite a few people uh, some passes, so there may be some pro players popping in here and there. Um, some casters from uh, eSports, popular eSports you guys may know and love. Uh, I don't want to commit because like it's all very... like verbal agreements and if i say someone's gonna be here and they aren't this is true we're boned disney disney will be here so, so that means you guys have to tune in every night that we're streaming to find out who may or may not be on i don't know if we're gonna stream every night though mm. you're gonna make us stream every night aren't you i don't know it depends definitely not tuesday night because my ass has to go back home early enough to go do my final on wednesday but after that who you know then anything any, goes anything goes it's a party so we eventually did get to play a, like two full matches of Battlefront 2. So you said that this is what you were most excited for. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. You didn't like the other one that came hated out. hated the first one that came out. Absolutely hated it. What about this one? Because, okay, hang on. Ivy, is this one on embargo? He said it wasn't. She's the in guy I asked about posting photos and talking about it and he said no this one's fine you can take photos and post and this and that i'm like okay okay so he said it was okay he said it's okay so and that was like the main dude that was handling all the stuff and he was the one he was the embargo dude to talk to so okay yeah so if if this does break embargo remember dude at the booth it was ivy ban ivy doom kitty no 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 dude and at the booth said that it was we're we okay were just innocent bystanders we're conscientious objectors it was all the ivy doom kitty so what what about this game about battlefield battlefront 2 was different about Bell, than battlefield this is difficult you know in fact do you know what's so great about this battlefront 2 is that it should just be the new star wars battlefront 1 this if this game was the game that came out the yeah. first time Hook, line, and sinker. No one would have complained. So should this be the Days of Future Past for Battlefront? Yes. They go back in time, they erase the first one, and they start new with this, this one? This should be just Battlefront 1. They, the, uh, the first one was an abomination that they should erase from the history books. Now, what was different about this one compared to the other one, though? The other one they booked as first person, right? When you start the game, you're first person mode. It was, oh, it was, you're it was right. Call of Duty Battlefront. Mm -hmm. This one, they went back, made it the third person. The characters reacted as they did back in the day except the only thing is that the mechanics and the shooting was more crisp and you could sh but you could shift in the first person because i did it by accident one time what do you mean i accidentally i don't know what i hit because again i map everything in mouse so i was fumbling on the keyboard i hit something and i went in the first person oh yeah yeah no they left that so if you really like to play in first person for whatever fucking reason that would be especially in battlefront when you have such an advantage creeping around corners and stuff you could still very much play first person um, 
people are asking if there's a story. I, I yeah, there there is. There's a, we yeah, didn't get to play the story. It. Yeah, no, they didn't let us play the story. We basically just got to play like the new game mode, which was like a little Overwatchy because we were like escorting a giant payload. Yeah, and then there was like a couple capture points. It was uh, it was pretty actually complicated. I'm not gonna lie, like just being thrown into it, it was pretty hard to understand what I was doing, but it was fun. The combat was fun. Yeah. Which I think is the most important. I actually got enough like in game points to play as Darth Maul or uh Bubba Fett. But, okay. But Boba Fett. Bubba no, Fett. It's not Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett. Is it you got in game to play? Boba. Bubba. Boba. We're saying the same thing. Irregardless. Oh you play <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I I had enough points to play him too. Just FYI. Oh no, you didn't. You I, you're, you're you're not a special snowflake. Well, what I'm trying to say is I had enough points, but every time I went to click him, someone else had him already. Oh. So there was constantly like a hero on the battlefield, and they would just like in the old days, they just wreck you. Like if you see Darth Maul, just run. Dar- yeah, Darth Maul was a beast. Yep. Yeah, just just like he should be. Um, it was a great game. I'm not gonna lie. I, it was I, fun. I, I had fun with it. Yeah. Well, my initial strategy was to choose the commander guy because he uses turrets. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, Torbjorn main, season one Overwatch. <laughs> He's got, the turret's got to be broken. I chose the turret and uh, got my face melted. But- I will say this. You know how I was saying earlier that I hadn't played? Uh, I didn't play Battlefield because I didn't feel comfortable playing on PC. Well, I hopped on to play Battlefront. And it was very nerve wracking because, again, like I said, I haven't played on a PC in a very long time. Nor it's mainly been console. Uh, I think the last time I actually played a full PC game was maybe like eight years ago, ten years ago, or something like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, it, um, it was it was fun going back to it, but it was also embarrassing because my freaking score was balls. It was just it was bad. Yeah, I think your guys was better though. I finished eighth on my team, which I was on the opposite team of your guys's. Both um, times? No, the first time I finished like maybe fourteen or fifteen. This, and then the second time I got the hang of it, and I I went eighth. But I didn't use the second time. I didn't use any vehicles. I didn't use a hero. I didn't do anything. I just saved my points. So uh, that's it. You hear the music. That's what these little condensed versions are about. These are 30-minute little bites of the show, and we're going to have more updates. Like I said at the beginning, we didn't actually get to watch Ubi and PlayStation because we were out doing stuff. So tonight, while we're eating our pizza and uh, drinking our Apothic red wine, we will hopefully get caught up on all that stuff. Um, We're going to go do our best to play as many games at E3 as possible, shake as many hands, kiss as many babies as possible, so we have tons of great stories to tell you guys. Hopefully we'll be way more drunk next time we By do this By babies, show. you mean cats? No, we're not going to kiss no cats. Those are evil. Four balls. Evil demons of hell. Speaking of, I'm pretty sure this hotel is going to be haunted. Yeah, this hotel is definitely haunted. Uh, well, we miss Aaron Carter. We're going to stick around maybe a little bit after to uh, answer some questions from the stream. We appreciate you guys for sticking with us on the stream since we're on this uh, haunted hotel Wi-Fi. It's kind of been a little choppy, uh, but the podcast quality is great. So if you feel like you missed out on stuff, download our freaking podcast. It's on iTunes. It's on Android. It's on Stitcher. We just heard gunshots. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a gunshot. What, what else could that have been? A ghost. Sure, there's some freaky ghosts up there. There are some freaky, deaky ghosts. Uh, like I said, follow us on all the social medias: Twitter at Video Game Bang. Uh, Ivy has access to our Instagram now, so our Instagram is <laughs> going to start getting actually probably more interesting. That is at Video Game Bang. I, I, I think they're going to regret it. Yeah, it's at Video Game Bang. It can't get any worse. Oh, it's going to get fun. What are you going to do? I don't know. I might post like cats all day long. God, you never I, know. We can change you the password. Know. We can change the password. You never know. Don't what, make me, what, what can happen? Don't make me change the password. Well, that if anything, now you got to go follow us uh, on Instagram. Yeah, seriously. Go on Instagram. Go on Twitter. Um, I've got access to both of them now. So, yeah, we'll definitely update you guys a lot more frequently. A lot of fun stuff coming your way. All right. For the real David Webb, the Ivy Doom Kittis, and Corey Vincent, you've all just been banged. Ooh, I'm so hungry.